I'll mute myself. Right, recording now. Hi all, no you can't see me yet, but I'm hoping you can hear me. Hello, all right? Fabulous, good. Comms check hey. all good? I, uh, I yeah. You will see me shortly, I'm just letting people into the waiting room, so bear with a couple minutes and we'll get started. <laughs> Mia, I'm disappointed to see that you're not hanging out by Cumberland Basin. <laughs> I'd rather die. I'm still so traumatised from it. I've got wine for this one. You bought wine for <laughs> Of course you have. Fantastic. Okay, guys, I've got 22. Some of you in pairs, aren't you? Bill Windsor, kit name change, strong. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure what we needed. Right, well, the clue is in the name, Mia, so, um, you know. <laughs> I haven't got one. What have you got? A four-year-old. Okay, a four-year-old and a glass of wine. Have you got anything else? No, yeah, I've got, like, a mop. Yeah, perfect, you're in. Have yeah. you, you've, just come, you've just come for the for the bands, haven't you, really? You've just come for come the... the <laughs> okay, okay, guys. I think that, what time are we on? I'm going to give it another 30 seconds because I was expecting one or two more, but there are a few of you in pairs, actually. Um, so give me another 30 seconds and then I'll get in front of the camera um, and we'll get started. How many of us are there? there? Well, I've got 21 squares, but there's a couple of people in couples. So oh, well. possibly less than that, uh, more than that, sorry, slightly. Laura, I want to know, I just did a risk assessment of barbell in my flat. It's a bit risky, so uh, if I uh, leave at any point, I've either uh, broken the ceiling or done something. So, yeah. No, Noted. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. Thanks. Just, just make sure your supervisor signs it. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my best friend, Jake. Jake. We have got <laughs> So, Jake, congratulations on finding somewhere else to lift. Um, I, I appreciate my comment in the Facebook group wasn't overly helpful. I have this syndrome where I think I'm the most hilarious person in the world. Um, so apologies because it entertained me. Um, but I'm, I'm glad you found somewhere else to lift. Great, yeah, great I, news. I found uh, a spot that's just, uh, just tall enough to snatch without any uh, plates on. Perfect. So between you and Katie, if you survive from this without putting a weight through some sort of ceiling, when we're on to a good one, I think. I think it's been a successful barbell. Yeah. Right, bear with me. I'm going to move in front of the camera. So I'm going to move slightly away from the laptop now. I'm set, I've set it up slightly different in here. So I won't be able to see you whilst I'm in front of the camera, but I'm going to sit behind the camera to coach. Um, so if you can't hear me, just shout out. Um, but I'm hoping comms will be absolutely fine, okay? So. Good evening, guys. So our first Zoo Barbell Club, now resuming in lockdown number three. I have my glamorous assistant, Liam Holland, probably the most glamorous <laughs> man in this gym. No offense to all the guys in the table, but here we are. He will be taking you through the workouts tonight, okay? So he'll be demonstrating, he'll be taking you through the warm-up. I will just be the verb on it, okay? I'll be coaching you through it, and he'll be showing you exactly what we are going to do, okay? So he'll be set up behind me here. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it on Box Mate, I think I've got to bring this super close. Um, tonight's session, I have put it in the chat, so I'm hoping you guys can see it. Okay, so even on eight minutes, we're going to go into one snatch, hand snatch, overhead squat. Slightly higher, says Liam. One snatch, hand snatch, overhead squat um, for eight minutes. Then we're going to take a little bit of a break, and then we're clean, and we're going to go into a clean, hand clean front squat, okay? Slightly different to what I posted on Boxmate. I've changed that second one out, so we're going to hand clean into front squat rather than split jerk. But don't worry about worrying the second, worry, uh, remembering the second eight minutes, because I will go through that when we get there. All we need to worry about is snatching to begin with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to um, sit behind the laptop screen, which I know is devastating because I know you've never seen my face, but you know, we've got Liam pretty easy on the eye. I am biased, but whatever. 
Um, I'm going to go through your warm up. We're going to do warm up part one as it's customary. Then we're going to do bar bar warm up. Then we're going to get you going through some positional work. Has anybody, just speak up now for me, not got a barbell or an implement that looks like a barbell? So is anybody working with a dumbbell or a kettlebell tonight? Uh, yeah, I've just got a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Just a kettlebell or a dumbbell, that's fine. So as long as I know, what I'll get here to do is demonstrate how you should be moving with that implement instead, as well, instead of the barbell, okay? So that's absolutely fine, no problem. Um, um, I, if I have a barbell, I mean a dumbbell, is that better than a mop? No, I'd probably work with um, a PVC implement rather than a dumbbell if you have one. So, had, was it Ali or Matt that spoke up and said they had a dumbbell or a cow? Sorry, I can't see the screen. It was Ali, but I can get something that's shaped like a barbell. I was just about to say, yeah, it's kind of daft, but in the last barbell club, we had mops, pipes, all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. That will, from an Olympic lifting point of view, benefit you slightly more than moving with a dumbbell, okay? Because the way you will move around that will be slightly different. So if you have got that, happy days, and we'll get you working with that. What I'm going to do, for those of you who haven't got any weight, okay, so I've either got an empty bar or a PVC pipe or equivalent, we're going to implement some pauses into this, okay? Basically, what I did during the first lockdown where we did a lot of barbell club, most people didn't have barbells available, to work that time under tension and improve your positioning, I got them doing lots of holds, lots of pauses. It's really beneficial, certainly for the positioning of your Olympic lifts, and that transferred really nicely then when they got back into a gym and got their hands onto a barbell again. So your options will be, if you've got a pipe or an empty, only an empty bar, you will put some pauses in there. I'll go through that in a second, Liam. If you've got a um, weight and you want to add a little bit of weight, that's up to you what sort of weight we're looking to do today, okay? Nothing to max out. I don't think most of you have got enough weight to max out at home, but certainly something that's around that 70 to 80%, no higher, something you can consistently move across these eight uh, minutes, all right? So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to jump behind the screen and I'm going to get Liam started. And you guys. And the beauty of it is now I get to see you all. Okay, so on the floor, guys, as is customary, we are going to start off with 10 peaks and valleys. So what I want you to do is take a little pause at the top of each rep and a little pause at the bottom. So stretch through those shoulders and really drive those hips through and into the floor. 10 reps in total. Fabulous. Okay, when you finish that, onto your feet. Okay, what we're gonna do now is take a wide sumo stance, okay? So feet will be slightly wider than your traditional hip width stance. I'm gonna go into 10 inchworms with no press up at the end. So your hands will start between your feet. You'll crawl all the way out. So your body comes to parallel with the floor, then crawl all the way back in, okay? Trying to keep those hamstrings nice and lengthened. Keep that core nice and Jason's looking very confused. Oh no, already, already confused. Just have a little look at him. I mean, we have done these before, Jace, but no worries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to mark. Actually, I am here to mark because it's partly what I do, isn't it? Oh my God, Sarah Burns, look how much furniture you've got. Holy hell, look at this. Someone's raided loaf. Ten reps in total. Seems like a lot. Probably is. Is a lot, says Liam. I can confirm it is a lot. Calls himself fit, often and puffing here over ten inch worms. I'm not here to judge. Just to clarify, this is not my house. This is just this is Dot's old flat. That makes complete sense now. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, I knew it. I didn't think you got that much furniture in a, in a month. No way. Not that much furniture. <laughs> Okay, cool. So when we're finished there doing all the reps ever, we're going to take our feet back into hip width stance and we're going to go into 10 bootstrappers now. Okay, so think of these like a Kang squat. You're going to grab hold of your toes down into a hinge, sit your butt down into an air squat, driving those elbows into the knees, back up into the hinge. And there's one rep. Okay, we're going to do 10 of these in total.
Okay, when we are finished there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do five rights, five left, Samson lunges, okay? So you're going to interlace your fingers, drive your arms up towards the ceiling, okay? So keep real active shoulders, and we're going to go into five right, five left lunges. I want you to think about your knee position, okay? I don't want you to see your knee tracking over your toes. We're looking for glute engagement here. So thinking about keeping that shin nice and vertical. So after you, Liam. Um, yeah, lunge forward. So hands up towards the ceiling, driving up, good. Into five right, five left, big wide, big wide lunges. Keep driving those. Kit's having problems with the fingers, I can see. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> she's, got, she's got 11 fingers, ladies and gents, that's why. <laughs> you should know by now I struggle with my left and my right. <laughs> oh yeah, good point, I forgot about that. I also keep forgetting this is recorded, so I've got to be more professional. <laughs> Oh, Mia, cute. Um, okay. Keep driving those hands up towards the ceiling. Nice active shoulders, apart from you, Kit. Okay. Cool. Okay. And then we're going to go back to the floor to finish the round off now. So down into a press-up position. We're going to go into 10 scat press-ups, little pause at the top of each rep. Okay. 10 reps in total. And then we're going to repeat those movements one more round through. To get your shoulders nice and active. If you've been sat down at a desk all day, hating life because it's January and we're locked down and we're all back at work. Yes, says Charlotte Wood. Correct. Then um, this will help. Get you nice and get you nice and mobile before we get a bar in your hands or a mop or a pipe or a dumbbell, whatever. Okay, we're going to stay down on the floor there. We're going to start this again, one more round through, and then I'm going to get a barbell nice and warm. Okay, so straight back into those ten peaks and valleys for me, guys. Okay, when you finish there, up on your feet. We'll, we'll cut, I'll meet you in the middle. We'll cut it down to five sumo inchworms, okay? I imagine when I said 10, that's the sort of time that I would get moans and complaints if we we're here in person. I'm just imagining it. So uh, we'll go to five, five sumo inchworms. Perfect. Okay, when you finish there, guys, feel free to move on now and back into those bootstrappers, 10 reps. Hinge, squat, hinge, opening up through those hips. Down in that air squat, don't forget to drive your elbows into the inside of your knees, really open up wide through those hips. When you finish there, we're going to go back into those Samson lunges, interlacing all 11 fingers, drive them up towards the ceiling, five right, five left, you know the drill. So I'm keeping an eye on Rosie as our indicator of how warm we are, because she's got the most layers on. So I know that when a layer comes off, we're good to go. I honestly thought Christian had no top on. It's a very nude top. So I uh, thought it was a bit, bit excessive for a one round warm up, but you know, each to their own. And then when we finished, scat press ups to round off. Okay. And since I can't hear any of you, I'm going to ask the future Mr. Draycott, do we feel warm? 
<laughs> Hang on was the response there. Apparently, it wasn't, we're 21st century, but not that liberal. Okay, right. So, Ali, did you get your hands on some sort of household appliance that looks something like a barber? Fantastic, we do. Cool. All right, guys. So, we're going to go straight into your snatch warm up now. All right. I'm going to move through some of the snatch uh, general positioning and then we're going to do some snatch balance work before working through the complex that we're going to go through today. Okay. So, bars up and into your snatch grip for me, please. Bars, pipes, marks, whatever you've got. See who's got one. Okay. Cool. Okay. So wider grip. Perfect. Matt. Lovely. Okay. So we're going to start off. We're going to go five snatch deadlift into muscle snatch. Okay. So you're going to hinge down through into that deadlift. And then as you drive up and through, through the hips, turn and press. Okay. So five reps in total. It's combined movements. Take a look at Liam. If you need a little reminder, thankfully we haven't been out of the gym too long. Deadlift straight into a muscle snatch. And the bar will sit on the back of your neck when you're finished there. Widen your hands ever so slightly for me, Rosie. You will um, hopefully find it easy when we come into some, over some overhead squat work. Perfect. Okay, bars onto the back of the neck when we're done. Good. Okay. From here, we're going to go into five snatch grip push press. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, dip, drive, and push up and overhead. In that fifth rep, I want you to hold that position, and we're going to sit into five overhead squats. Nice, guys. Good. Into five overhead squats when you're finished. And then when you finish, pop the bar down. Okay. Just wait for everyone to catch up. Helen Young's got her cats. If anyone's ever seen the Cravendale advert where the cats have got thumbs and they like, they're planning world domination. I'm pretty sure Helen Young's cats are those cats because they try and wipe her out every time she's training. I think the plot is, I think they're up to something. Cats are always up to something, correct. All right, so we're going to work through that at least one more round through. I've not decided how many yet. What time are we on? 6.15. One more round through. So starting off with those five snatch deadlifts into five muscle snatch. Bar goes onto the back of your neck. Liam forgot what he was doing. Okay, behind the neck into five snatch grip push press, dip drive, up and overhead, followed by five overhead squats. Jobs are good in. <laughs> okay, bars down when you finish there, guys. Okay, before we start looking at the complex, oh, I'll just wait for everyone to catch up, sorry. Okay, cool. How are we feeling warm-ish? We look pretty warm. Good warm, says Matt. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to do a little bit more dynamic work, okay? We're going to work through some snatch balances. I'm going to do a set of five um, heave snatch balance and then a set of five drop snatch balance, okay? So I'm going to get Liam to demonstrate the heave snatch balance for those of you who are a bit unfamiliar with this one. What we're looking to do is very similar to the push press. You're going to have your elbows underneath the bar to create a nice straight bar path. Squeeze your butt and we're going to dip, drive into a catch position. Liam? Okay, one more for me. So dip and drive into that receiving position. Okay, so it's a mixture between a standard snatch balance, a drop snatch balance, and your push press. Okay, so you're going to dip, drive exactly the same, and then drop into that overhead squat. So we're going to do five reps here. Okay, guys, I'm going to cue you. So I will say lift, and you will dip, drive, and make the lift. Let's get everybody ready. Bar on the back of your necks. So keep your midline, your butt nice and tight, nice and engaged. Elbows underneath that bar to drive a nice straight bar path. Are we ready? Lift. 
quite kind of feels like God, all these people on a screen all at once. Okay, ready? Lift. Nice, guys. Good. If you struggle sitting into a full depth overhead squat, just sit somewhere the way you can fit, where you can maintain a depth, where you can still maintain integrity through the shoulders, okay? Stability through the shoulders. We go again. Ready? Lift. Good. Stand it up. Two more. Squeeze your butt. 20 buns just squeezed on the screen at once. Ready? Lift. Good. And we're going to do one more. Lift. Good, guys. Okay, relax there. Bars down. Shake it out a second. We're going to do one more set there. Um, and then we're going to go into your complex work. You keeping the bar on your back? Yeah, just wait. All right, so what we're going to do now, where's your whistle? Kit, honestly, I thought it'd be wasted on an empty gym, but I'm beginning to regret it. Sorry, but I'm livid. For those who don't know, I got bought a whistle for Christmas from the girls in Barbell, and it's probably the best present I've ever had. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same again, but we're going to take that dip and drive away, okay? So this is where we're starting to look for speed in this movement. What I'm trying to get here is when you turn over in an Olympic lift, it's all about speed in and out of that extension, okay? In and out into that receiving position so this is a lovely primer for that so the starting is going to be exactly the same this time when i say lift there'll be no drop no dive Ugh, start again there'll be no dip and drive i sound like dodgeball but you are going to drop immediately under that bar into a catch position so watch on liam's shoulders that bar height barely moves okay so ready lift good and one more liam lift good so nice and fast into that receiving position no dip and drive Everybody's ready, bar on your back. We're going to do five lifts. Al Q, this is the world's longest warm up, isn't it? I'm okay with that. Right. Elbows under, squeeze your butt. Ready, lift. Nice, guys. Good. Okay, let's speed up as we go through these reps. Ready, lift. Nice, Katie Blake. A little premature. <laughs> she doubled. Doubled up, mate. Okay, ready, lift. Good. Last two. Lift. Good. And one more. Lift. Cool. All right. Relax there, guys. So while you're... Uh, I just interrupt with something that my sister's just said to me. What she said? Can to take the mic, Chantel? I can't hear her. No. She said it looks like I'm just doing a slut drop. <laughs> Well, I have, uh, I have compared your lifting to that before me, to be fair. <laughs> right. Okay, okay, guys. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get Liam, while you're just having a little rest, I'm going to get Liam to demonstrate the complex, okay? There's going to be two variations. If you've got a bar with weights, we're just going to do it as is written. Snatch, hang, snatch, overhead squat. If you've got an empty bar or a pipe, we're going to pause at the knee in the snatch, at the hang in the hang snatch and in the receiving position of the overhead squat. So I'll get to that in a second, okay? So first off, if you've got weight, we're gonna go into starting from the floor, snatch. Hang snatch, so just to the knee or just above. Finish off with an overhead squat. Okay, everybody happy with that or do you need to see it one more time through? Good, all good. Jason gives a thumbs up. He is the man of the people. He, remembers, he got a award this year, you know. Okay, so what we're going to do now is if you've not got weight, we're going to do a snatch, but you're going to pause on the knee on the way up. So, Liam, if you demonstrate the snatch, pause at the knee for a second and lift. Okay, same again. We're going to go down into that hang. You're going to hold it for a second or two and lift. And then you're going to drop into an overhead squat and hold there for a second or two before standing up. Okay, so relax there. So above the knee, the snatch, same with the hang snatch and catch position with the overhead squat. Okay, I'm trying to increase your time and attention and get you thinking about your positions. Where you've got those pauses, and feel free to add those pauses in if you want with the weight, if you're using weight. What I'm trying to do is get you to find your hamstrings. Okay, this is why we've said this before millions of times, is that's where the power through an Olympic lift comes from. So if you're finding that your knees are forward and your quads are being loaded, you're probably in a bad position. Okay, so what we're looking for in those pauses is for your shins to be nice and vertical and your hamstrings to bear the tension that's what exactly where i'm looking for because that's where your power is going to come when you then hit that extension position does that make sense 
Cool. Right. Rosie has got a gilet off, so we are bang on good to go. So what we're going to do is just once or twice, and I know, maybe once or twice, we're going to run through this so that everybody's happy, and then I'm going to start the clock, all right? So bar starts in the start position of your snatch, regardless of what you're doing. I'm not going to cue the full complex because you'll all be working at slightly different times if you put in the pause in, okay, guys? So if your bar's up and ready to go, Matt, you need a bar? Cool. Down into that start position for me. Right. Off we go. Lovely, Julia. Good. Okay, nice guys. Relax there. So everybody's happy and everybody knows what they're doing. So this, I, I feel like this is a huge bonus. Um, right, so where's my clock? Here it is. Oh, you're going to put a bit of weight on. Okay, if anybody does want this opportunity to stick a little bit of weight on, now is the time to do it. From here, those reds look like 25 kilo plates, Julia, and I'm assuming you've not gone from an empty bar to a 70 kilo snatch. But, you know, stranger things have happened. I'd, I wouldn't recommend it, <laughs> by the way. Does somebody have a question then? Yeah, what, what are the reps again? Uh, so you're just going to perform that complex once on the minute. So we're going to go for eight okay, minutes. Sure. So snatch, hang, snatch, overhead squat. So probably take about 10 to 15 seconds and then rest until the next minute. Kit, I've lost you, by the way. I've not got your camera anymore. I don't know if that was intentional because you can't bear me to watch whatever's going on in that house. <laughs> okay, everybody ready? Nobody needs any more time? My internet has gone mad, says Kit. Okay, join when you can. Three, oh no, wait, 10 seconds. I forgot to start the clocks, but I'm out of touch. It's been a while since I've been in here, you know? Okay. Three, two, one, off we go. <laughs> Good. Don't forget those pauses, guys. Slow down that first pull. Nice, good. So just to clarify, nobody's asked me, but I have seen a few power variations. We're looking for full depth squats throughout this complex if you can hit that range of motion, okay? So if you can hit it, which I know you can, Aaron, <clears throat> then you should be catching it in a full squat. Okay, 30 seconds. Have you seen me being a ballerina and not a weightlifter? It's because I don't want to cause any issues. <laughs> <laughs> Noted, okay. 15 seconds. 10. Okay, nice long, nice decent pause there with the pipes. Be strict with yourself. Let's find that time and attention. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, Aaron. Much better. Lovely turnover, Lauren. Good, Christian. Nice. Lovely, guys. Some really nice lifting. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds. <sighs> Welcome back, Kit Cat. Okay, 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, one, off we go. Christian, if space allows, are you able to turn 90 degrees for your next lift so I can watch it from the side? It's often easier for me to coach from the side. Perfect, cheers, mate. I better find something to say now, otherwise it's been a complete waste of time, isn't it? <laughs> okay, 20 seconds. Three, 
10. Three, two, one, off we go. Okay, Christian, what I want you to do on the next rep is first of all, on the full snatch from the floor, I want you to slow down the first portion of the lift between the floor and the knee, okay? So a lot of people have a misconception that that's where you need to sort of yank it off the floor to create all the power. The power comes through the extension piece in the middle, all right? By slowing it down, what I want you to try and do is keep it closer, keep that bar path much, much closer, okay? Because you lose contact between the knee and the hip. So think about slowing it down and pushing down on the bar to squeeze it close to you. Okay, I'm, I'm doing a demonstration. I realize you can't see me. So that's what I want you to do first of all. And then I'm going to have a little look at your position. Okay, cool. All right, guys, five seconds. Delivered all that in 30 seconds. What a pro. Three, two, one. Off we go. Better, much better. Good. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, perfect. All right, Christian. So keep what I just said in the back of your mind. But now what I want you to think about is in this hang work, okay? I know you're catching it ever so slightly in your toes. And it probably doesn't help you haven't got shoes on. But positionally, if I was to come and manipulate you in that position, what I would try and get you to do is essentially the equivalent of making you bow forward, okay? So you're in a position where your legs are bent. What I want you to do is send your chest a little bit further over that bar, okay? So imagine you're bowing over that bar to create more tension in your hamstrings. So we want to load there instead. Does that make sense? We'll have a little look. It's very difficult to do over Zoom, but let's see if we can make it work, all right? Okay, guys, five seconds. Three, two, one. Off we go. Much better, good. Much, much better, cool. Good stuff. Okay, we've got two left. My maths serve me right, which they don't always serve me right, which is why I got bought a stopwatch. Also, I haven't got that. Sorry, Sarah. <clears throat> it's like I'm ungrateful, isn't it? To be honest, Jay, don't shake your head because I've eaten everything you bought me. <laughs> no messing around with that. Those, those, those built on things went in about three hours, you know? <laughs> we'll coach for snacks. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Off we go. Good, lovely. Good, Christian. That's loads better. That's good. Nice, guys. Okay, we've got one minute left, and then we're going to move on to some clean work. Well, it's Ron and Amnesty. Helen Webster bought me two Pinkman's Donuts. I took them home to share. I ate them both for dessert. I've got no shame. It was Christmas time. I feel like it's festive, you know? Liam didn't even get to try it. So it's <laughs> livid. <laughs> They're delicious. I told him how good they were, if that, if that counts. All right, guys. Enough for my... Uh, Tales of gluttony. 10 seconds. Got a wedding dress to fit into. Apparently. Who knows? Right. Five, three, two, one. Off we go. Good, Adam. Yes, nice, guys. Lovely job. I am very impressed. Some beautiful lifting. All right. Cool. Right. Take a minute or two. Wipe down. Drink down. Don't drink wine, Mia. Not okay. Uh, not condoned. Um, but anything else you want to have a drink of, not a beer. That doesn't count. Then um, crack on. So what we're going to do now is I'm not going to spend too much time because I feel like we're probably warm. We're probably pretty warm. Yeah, Jason's airing out. We're definitely warm. So what we're going to do now is just warm up our front rack position ever so slightly um, and then 
delve into that next complex um, and look at the two options you've got. Again, depending on what implement you've got, you've probably figured it out, to be honest. Do you want to leave it on or are you going to strip it down? Okay, cool. All right. So to warm you up, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do two sets through, straight through of five muscle cleans into five front squats. Okay. So muscle clean from the floor each time. And bring those elbows through. Okay. Keeping that bar nice and close. We're not re-dipping underneath. Bar drives from the floor, hip extends, elbows come through. It's so five reps in total, followed by five, five front squats. Yep, straight in. Ali and Christian, are you good? Do you want another demonstration? I don't know if the thumbs up was you're good or you want another demonstration. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm good as well. Cool. Okay, once you've been one round through, pop the bar down if you want it, and then we're going to go through a second round, okay? Five, sorry, Liam, five muscle cleans, five front squats, hanging out. Cool. And when everyone is finished, we'll move into some complex work. Cool. Just wait for everyone to, to finish off. Someone just dropped off because you've all gone suddenly rather large on my screen. Who knows? I think we lost Kit again. Okie doke. Right. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is exactly the same, okay? It's a very similar format. One clean, one hand clean, one front squat, okay? Again, if you've got weight, work through at that. If you want to either make it more difficult with weight or if you've got an empty bar or a pipe, we're gonna add those pauses in again. Pauses in exactly the same place, okay? So on the clean, I'm just, just gonna demonstrate the pause version here. Pause version, yeah. We're gonna pause at the knee on the way up and lift. Okay, same with the hang, back down to the hang and pause at the hang and lift and then finish off with a front squat with a pause in that bottom position and up, good. Okay, so that's your pause option. Obviously, if you're not using pauses, you'll take them away and perform it without them. What I want you to do, if we could just get you back into that hang position in just a sec, not yet because otherwise you'd be holding it for ages. So, so in the Christian, those I've picked up on in the past, okay, for the hang position, what I am often too often see is those knees forward and you're, you, you're loading through the quads. What I'm looking for here is, Liam, if you just hold that hang position for me so I can talk through it. is you will see their shins are nice and vertical, okay? What I mean by bowing over that bar, Christian, is having your chest over the bar and your hamstrings and glutes loaded. So think about keeping that shin nice and vertical as opposed to being in this position here, okay? It's exaggerated, but with the knees forward and the quads loaded, okay? We want to tilt that body back so that your hamstrings are engaged. Does that make sense? Cool. All right. So, should we get started? I don't think we need to practice through that i think everyone's you guys are, you guys are an intelligent bunch you look fairly intelligent you know all right cool so we're gonna get started i uh, oh, need to pop so far, 10 seconds okay five three two one and off we go lovely christine good Nice, Ash. Don't miss out that contact through that extension. Looks good though, mate. Lovely work. Okay, 
Katie Blake, I couldn't decide then if you were sticking your head out the window to cool down or whether you were being one of them rowdy people that's like, hey, get off my driveway. Like, you know, just a bit rowdy. I won't put it past you, to be honest. You know, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Off we go. Lovely work, Charlotte Wood. Nice, Jay. Good. Very nice. Lovely extension. Okay, 30 seconds. Oh, Aaron, you've got a dog. Didn't even know that you've got a dog. It's the best day of my entire life. Certain lack of dogs in lockdown. I'm working on it though, guys. <laughs> okay, 10 seconds. Rosie, Rosie has the best dog. Rosie's got dogs. Well, you know what to do next week, guys. If you don't come back for the barbell, come back for the dogs. Three, two, one. Off we go. Good, Sarah Burns. Lovely work. So Ali, hot, much harder to do with a pipe because it's so easy just to fling a pipe round. But I'm pretty sure we've talked about this in the cl in barbell classes itself. Is the way I want you to extend and your feet to physically leave the floor. Okay, if we can drill it with an empty pipe, you're going to be golden when you get your hands back on a bar. Okay, so as you're coming up through that clean, not forgetting to physically jump. Okay, we're still looking for that full extension regardless of how much weight you've got on that bar, and then your feet will move into that receiving position. Okay, rather than allowing them to stay fixed to the floor. Perfect. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Yes, nailed it. Good, Ali. There we go. Third time's charm. Beautiful. Nice. Much, much better. That first one and then that third hand clean. Much, much better, mate. Now I'm confused, Kit, because are you Kit Windsor and that's Bill Windsor? Is that Bill Win the Bill Windsor? Okay, 10 seconds. Oh, it's not. Oh, good. Three, two, one. Good, Jace. Lovely work, Jake. Lovely clean. Okay, we've got four left, one, three left, three left, three left, three left, it's better at maths than me. It's like a walking calculator. It's part of the appeal. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Just going up to 10 seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, Ali, lovely. Nice, Matt, cool. Okay, nearly there, guys. Two more left, two more minutes. And then the uh, the best hour of your week is sadly over. 
don't deny it. You can't deny it. You're all on mute. I'll take that as a unanimous yes. Okay, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Off we go. Nice, Rosie. Good. Cool. Okay, we have one more minute. One more complex. Jobs are good in. Helen Young has adopted the universal resting position. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> She's good. She's good. Have you already done a long one today? You won't surprise me. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> okay, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Fabulous. Cool. Get everyone to finish it off. And we are done. Back in the street. All right, guys. Fabulous lifting tonight. Really, really, really impressive. Okay. Um, just for future sessions, if you are intending on coming week on week, just think about your camera angles if you're able to space it out so that I've got more of a visual of where you are because it makes it easier for me to coach if I can see what positions you're in and how you're moving through the whole lift. There's some occasions there where right? all I can see is like sort of a bit left on the bottom of the screen. Okay. So, um, yeah, if you can have a think about that if you are intending on making regular barbells. Um, if not, I hope you enjoyed that tonight. I hope it was useful. Um, more of the same over the next however many weeks we'll be here, okay? And um, what I'm going to do this weekend is program the next probably four to six weeks of box. You'll we'll be able to see it in advance on box mate, so you'll know what's coming up. Um, but if not, hopefully I shall see you next Wednesday, if not on Saturday, okay? Thanks very much, guys. Have a good Thank you, Laura. That was Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thanks, nice Laura. See you, guys. Bye. Yeah.